Hello, welcome back to Plumbing College. Today I'm going to show you how to pull a passover bend or crossover bend. The way I'm going to show you is a measured way, so you might need to do this for your plumbing assessment in college. Um, this is probably the hardest bend to do and get right, so I suggest you practice other bends which I've covered before you get to this bend if you've been following my videos. So let's do it. Specification is 15mm pipe, it's got to pass over 15mm copper with a 15mm gap. Okay, so 15 mil for the pipe diameter and 15 mil clearance. So 15 plus 15 is 30. Right, in the middle of your piece of paper, get yourself a square. Right, so we've worked out the height. What we're gonna do now is we want the top bends to be 60 degrees then the bottom two bends to be 30 degrees. The reason I like this is because 30 is marked on the pipe bends already, so you sort of know where to bend it. This is 30 degrees. All right, so what we're gonna do famous folding ruler. We set that angle, which as we know is gonna be 60 degrees. What we do now is we put our pipe into the pipe bender. All right, we then check, then check our angle using the folding ruler, which is there, like that. All right, so what you, what you then do, the folding ruler, the ruler's touching that side and that side. And it's got to be some three things, touching, touching, it's got to be parallel. So, so that's not parallel, that's not parallel. Touching, touching, there. What we then do, we then mark there. So that is where the centre, of the bend is going to be when we bend this so that is where that is where that is going to be when we bend it the center of the bend what we do now put our work in the drawing we want it to sort of come want the bends just want the bends to sort of the middle of the bends to be like that so what we do we do a line there Put that into the pipe bender so it's in line there, so it's in line there, and we then bend it, and this time we then bend the pipe. As you can probably see, it's got to go a bit more. So keep doing it. So it's got to go a bit more. So it's 
it's nearly there, isn't it? It's nearly, if you look at that gap, it's just got a little bit more. And it could just go, it could just go a little bit more. So just bend that a little bit more. So it's completely in line at the top. And when you look there, it's completely parallel or more precise. If I put the ruler on it, there's no gaps because it's complete. Another little top tip you can do, because um, 60 degrees, so there's a recap and a pipe bender, that's 30 degrees, that's 45, but there's not a 60 degree. 60 degrees is quite a useful mark to have. So once you've marked it out, what you could do, So if you mark that there, that could be a, you could write in it 60 degrees. Okay, you could have a nice, you could probably scratch it in as well, because if you get it right, that's a nice, useful mark to have in your bender. So that's the center, that's the center of a 60 degree bend. That's, so when the center of the pipe, so when the center of the pipe touches there, that's 60 degrees, That'd be a useful little tip to have on your pipe, on your pipe bender. Drawing back on. This has got to be nice and parallel for it to work. So about there. Like that. So for example, it's in line, but it's not, look at the small gap, big gap, small gap, big gap, which has got to go. I say there, right there, right there, like that. Okay, so it's like that. Get a ruler. Put it on it, put it on top, making sure that everything's still in line. Which it is. One, two, like that. And what we can also do we can also transfer that round and do the same again. Do the same. So we're going to mark it. There and there. And then mark it. So one. So, so we've marked it like that. Okay, so we've just marked it there, there and there, like that. Right, so now we are gonna bend, we are now gonna bend it this way and this way. So we've got the marks both sides. We've got the marks both sides. All right, so what we do, Okay, we set the angle up, so we know that that's, we know that that's 30 degrees, anyway, so we know that that's 30. All right, so just to recap, we want that line touching the former. So we're just gonna wiggle it in a bit. Which is there. There, like that. Okay, so that line, you can see that line, 
pencil line. So the, the pen line is just touching the edge of the former. Like that. Before we bend it, we need to make sure that it's nice and straight, the pipe. We need to make sure that it's in alignment. So example, that's not in a line. It's got to be nice and straight, which is about there. Like that. I would then bend the pipe. Okay, so we then sort of check the... There we go. So we're then checking that it's that angle, that angle, which is 30 degrees, which is there anyway. Center and center. All right, so we've done that so far. We then take out the pipe. Then the other line we drew goes into the pipe bender. Same as before. Right, so that line is touching the edge of the former. And we then bend this one back 30 degrees, but before we bend it, we check it's all in alignment. So it's got to go, it's, a little bit, it's got to go a little bit that way. It's got to go a little bit, it's got to go a little bit that way. So it's got to be nice and straight. It's about there, about there. Then we then start to bend it. All right, what we do know is we're gonna bend it to there. Uh, then look down it just to make sure that it's looking at no, I think, obvious. So we then, that's how it's looking. So, all right, so that is how it's looking. Uh, like that. All right. Then what you would do, for example, if you had to measure, just say your 110 mil from the center, you'd measure. Okay, so this is what we've just done. Okay, so uh, that's 15 mil pipe, and that's 15 mil pipe. And if you can sort of just see, that's it there. That's the that's the clearance just there, like that, just like that. Now you know how to pull a passover bend. It's your turn to have a go.